The spiritual man is one whose soul, in the first place, is set Godward. That is, whose mind is busy with God and whose will is at one uh, with God's. And whose senses, in the second place, do not contravene the right impulse of the will, but promptly and to their utmost second them, admitting no uh, alien desires, no craven fears, no drawing back from what is hard. So therefore you don't hear I was lazy. The power of soul... Well, just to back on that, it, it, it's one of the things, and I notice as a pilgrim, and you just kind of notice it, it being a man, you do have days where you're really tired, days where you're a bit more hungry, days where you feel more selfish, you're just not in a good mood. Well, all it takes is identifying that and then out acting contrary to it. You just act contrary to it. I'm tired, so you work harder. And, and I've always found, like when I used to exercise a lot, I found that on those days, I felt absolutely wiped out, and I knew I should not go run and mountain bike and whatever else I was going to go and do. You, should, you must not go do that because you're really tired. You have to rest. I would go do it anyways, and those would be the best runs I ever had. I mean, because the body will just kick in. The thing is, the body doesn't want to do all kinds of stuff, but when you make it do it, you see an athlete will do that. An athlete will make himself do something, but, um, but with the spiritual man, often won't. He'll just follow the body. You see? But it takes, it takes, it has to be able to take that inner discipline of the spiritual man to tell you to do it. A lot of times when we hear the, the, the mea culpa for, for, for being lazy and for not trying very hard and whatever else, it's because you're, you're allowing the natural man to dictate what you do, how you think. And there you go. If you continue to let the natural man guide you, he leads you to hell. The natural man leads you to hell. And that's where that fight comes in, because the spiritual man has to, has to force the natural man to go to heaven. But forcing him, it, it's a violence. that you, 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 you do a violence on him. So therefore, you kick in and you do hard work instead of doing being lazy, because you feel lazy. So that's the sign. I feel lazy. What's the remedy? You just have to simply ask yourself the question. I feel lazy. What's the remedy? Being lazy... <laughs> No, you're going to go to hell. No, no, the, 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 the remedy to being lazy is working harder. The, the, the remedy to wanting to sleep in is getting up. The, the, the remedy to complaining is keeping your mouth shut, right? The, the remedy to being the sulking and being in a bad mood is, and this might sound silly, and I'm not trying to say like big hugs, big hearts for everybody, but it, it, if you actually do just smile on a day where you feel really, really bad, you realize sometimes you don't feel bad anymore. That's how simple it is. Force yourself to just, you don't have to do it like around people. Go into the bathroom and smile. But I mean, the, the thing is, is to make yourself do the contrary of what your body's making you do. Because your body doesn't want you to be nasty that day. Because it feels nasty. But it doesn't take anything to make those clouds go away. And even if they won't go away, now it's meritorious that you don't hover under the clouds. In the darkness, you just keep pushing forward. Meritorious. You're getting paid. Do you see?